Welcome to the homework for Lesson 13, Grade 2, Module 3, Write Your Name Here. And we're drawing pictures of place value disks to show the numbers. So we're just drawing pictures of things we can count. These are all HTO charts without the H, the T, and the O. So you can write those in right off just to see them and get in the habit of seeing hundreds with tens in the middle and ones on the left. And so 43 is, and we could write the numbers up here, 43. We need four tens. One, two. Now I like to, usually you don't have enough room to write them going sideways. So, but with columns, you have a little more room if you're going to try to get in five group rows, which it's worth it if you can get in that habit because you're going to be drawing a lot of these. And sometimes it's easy to miscount them. But if you draw five group rows, you, all you have to do is look at it, and you can see a set of 10, and you can see what's left over, or you can see what's missing from 10, and you can tell what the number is without counting. And that way you don't get your count wrong. And that's when you're drawing pictures of things that you can count, that's the most important thing is making sure you get the count right because then you have the wrong number of pictures you have the wrong number so there's 43 and now we need 430 so we need that's 430 just like that we need four hundreds and then three tens one two three and if you you have more room down here so if your discs are a little bit bigger than mine and you end up going outside of the box you know you have more room going down than you do going sideways so just keep those five group columns going uh, and you can you have a lot more room going down than you do so you, you can use it it's okay and we don't have any ones to draw there and now here we have 270 right HTO and so we need two hundreds one hundred one hundred and we need seven tenths one two three four five six seven see how I went I just went right out I went right past the bottom of the box it's okay we can just we can tell that's a 10 and it's worth the other 10s and there's a seven you can see there's a five group and two more we know that's a seven and we don't need any ones we're done with 270. so 720 i mean seven two zero we need seven hundreds two three four five six seven And then our tens, we need two tens. And we don't need any one, so we're done with 720. 702, let me zoom in on this one, if I can. 702. Four, five. All right, this is H, T, O, I need seven. Zero tens, two ones. There's my seven hundreds, zero tens, and I still need two ones. And now we're looking at nine hundred thirty six. I'm going to try to make this even bigger. I kind of wish I had done this with all of them. We have H. This is the tens and this is the ones. Hundreds, tens, and ones. And we need 936. So we need nine hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight, nine. There's my nine hundreds. I need three tens. One, two, three. And we need six ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nine hundred thirty-six. Now at the end it says, when you finished, use your whisper voice to read each number out loud in both unit and word form. So remember, unit form is we're saying the words hundreds, tens, and ones for the units for each digit. So when we see, like when we see 702, this digit right here says seven hundreds, two ones. And let's do that. So we're saying this in... And when you say it in word form, saying a number in word form sounds exactly the same as saying it in standard form. It's when you write it that makes it different. So when you write it in word form, you're using only words, no numerals at all. So this would be four tens, three ones, 43. In unit form, this one is four hundreds, three tens. And then word form is 430. This is two hundreds, seven tens, and in word form, 270. In unit form, this is seven hundreds, two tens, and in word form, 720. This one in unit form is seven hundreds, two ones, 702. This one here is nine hundreds, three tens, six ones. That's unit form. Word form is nine hundred thirty-six. And think about how much does each number need to change for a ten or for a hundred. So let's go back and look at them again. How much do we need to change this one? To get, to get to the next 10, we'd need seven more ones, right? And that would make a 50. And then five more tens would get us to the next 100. Looking at this 430, we're already at a 10. So we would need seven more tens to make 100. And that would be 500. The 270 is already at a 10. So if we wanted to make the next 100, we would need... One, two, three more tens. Think about what's missing in the ten frame, right? There's three tens missing. So you would need three more tens, and then you'd have a bundle. You could bundle this up as a hundred. The 720. Again, this is already a ten, so we don't need to add any ones to it. But if we're going to finish this ten frame of tens to make a hundred, we'd need eight more tens because we only have two of them here. And then here, 702, we do need to add some ones to make the next 10. Think of this, what's missing in this 10 frame? We need eight more ones to have a full 10 frame. And then we'd have a 10. Then we'd have 710, and we'd need nine more tens to make the next 100 to get to 800. Looking at 936, see what's missing? in the 10 frame, four ones. So we'd need four ones, and that would get us to the next 10, which would be 940. And then having four tens, we would need six more to make the rest of that 100, and then we'd have a 1,000. 